Hi. So today I am here with the My Website Creator from Ionis. And this is just a quick tutorial to show you how this builder works and to get it set up for you. Um, so we'll go through the templates and kind of um, a gist of some of the features just so you can get a handle on getting it started. Um, I will probably do a more in-depth one um, later on. I just kind of wanted to get this going for anybody who, you know, just got this and, and don't really know how to, um, you know, start with it. So what you're going to do is you're going to log in to your account at my.ionos.com. That's my.ionos.com. And once you do that, you're going to um, go up here to the menu and you have the websites and stores. That's what you're going to click on. Depending how many contracts that you have for websites, um, you're either going to be brought to this page or a page that will um, prompt you to pick a contract. Um, so you're going to pick the contract we're working with and then go to create website, which will then bring you here. Um, then you're going to go here and you're going to see here that says managed online business card. So um, that is really for anybody who is new that has a website that does not have a website but has a domain. Um, just kind of um, so when people go to there, it will show your address or your phone number, whatever you want it to say, um, the name of your business, coming soon, just so people know that, hey, it's coming, here's my information if you need to. Um, so if you already have a website up with your domain, you're probably going to want to keep it there until um, this one's built. So at that point, um, we're not going to worry too much about it. We're going to go ahead and go to create website because we kind of want to get this going. Um, you're going to be brought to this page, which is all blue, and it says ready to set up your website. So what we're going to do is click over. Um, your title, that's going to be for the um, um, online business card also. It's just pretty much just put the name of your business there. Um, in this case, I'm just going to put Amy's dog walking because um, I'm going to pretend that I'm a dog walker, and that's <laughs> what this site is going to be about. So I'm going to click on that, and then I'm just going to move it over. Um, images and text. So um, Ionis does offer free images and text for your site um, and it builds the template um, according to those pictures um, if you wanted it to. So um, what you're going to want to do is just put an industry or purpose. It's pretty much like if it's a church, you're going to want to put um, church and it will bring up different ones for you. Is this a band music club for the church? Um, is this a, you know, a, a DJ band for the church? Um, so forth. Um, if you have a community service, um, you can go community, and it brings up all these different ones, organization, faith-based, farmer's market. Um, we're going to go ahead and click, I'm going to go on, you know, dog walking, because <laughs> that's what I'm going to be doing. And you can see the pictures behind me, which is pretty cute. Um, these are all the pictures that I'm able to use, um, and these are changeable. So, you know, don't, this, none of this is definitely going to be there. Like, you have to use it, okay? It's just, just if you want to. Um, so you can click right and go over. Now, here we go. So as you can see, it's, it took Amy's dog walking and it made it its title for the um, business card. Um, and um, I'm going to want to go on there and just make sure the phone number and everything. And you can change that around, which is cool, but we'll go to that later. Um, so what we're going to do now is select a template. Now, since I did put the dog walking for the pictures, it's going to bring me up, um, you know, templates that already have, you know, pets in it. Um, depending on what you use is what it's going to be shown here. And um, there's pretty much three things that you want to check when you go here. Um, you're going to want to look at the structure of it. You're going to want to look at the pictures and you're going to want to look at the colors. Even though everything is changeable, it's easier it's easier to change um, the color first, then the pictures, and then the structure. Okay? So um, those are pretty much the three parameters that you want to look at and um, what you can kind of go in and out of. Now, let's say I get here and I don't like any of these, um, and so, okay, fine. You want to get rid of that and you want to try something else, you can go to one of any of these other ones um, and just know that you can change pictures and stuff. So personal page um, is more for like, hey, I'm having a baby, um, you know, bands, stuff like that, um, my, my profile or, you know, my galleries and stuff, pictures that I have, depending what you want. Um, <laughs> so the, the personal page is pretty cool for that. We have professional services. These give you a really good structure of it because it's very, um, a lot of these are, are actually pretty cool because they go, um, they're, they're a little bit more difficult. And that's good because it's something that you don't have to do. And I'll show you an example kind of. Um, one of my favorite ones is actually right here um, just because it gives you so much to work with. And you can delete these pages. So you don't necessarily need all of these pages up here. 
Um, it just kind of gives you a, you know, something to start with. It gives you your homepage, which as you can scroll down, you see how things are popping up at you. It has this little bar here. Um, so this is pretty original. This is pretty cool. Um, and then if you go to our services, it gives you an our services page, which can be changed. You know, since I'm doing a dog walking service, I think this is pretty cool because I can just put like, okay, dog walking, dog babysitting, you know, feeding and so forth. Uh, gallery is pretty much what it says. Um, you can put pictures up there, okay, about us, our team, and contact us. Now, I'm not going to do this one. Um, I just wanted to kind of show you one of the more in, de in detailed ones. But um, another thing is if you wanted to do colors, let's, let's say, okay, I do like a lot of the, um, I don't really like the pictures, but I want to go with the colors. So um, you can go ahead and let's say you know for a fact you want your site to be all green or all red, or all blue. <laughs> um, it'll bring up templates that have that, not necessarily with those pictures, but it will bring you up sites that um, have that that color to it, and then you just look for the color and then you know, the structure. So um, some of the cooler ones are pretty much over here. I know this one's a pretty cool one too. If you go down, you can see how it's kind of bouncing up at you, things are changing and so forth. So that's pretty cool. And then we're gonna go back to overview. Um, blank templates is another one that say that you, um, you know what, you wanna do it all from here, all by yourself, but you just want a structure to it. You can click on that and, and add it in that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick one under popular. And I'm gonna go with one, let's go to the second page. Um, Let's do this one, because this one already has a dog on there. So um, I'm looking through here. I kind of like the colors. Um, I like the, I like this part. This is another thing with structure I was saying. Um, see how it has that background image that's scrollable? So that's pretty neat. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this design, which will then um, bring my website up. And it's just getting started. Okay, perfect. So um, something that you want to know when you're doing this is um, how it works, which is um, it works in layers. So you have a site background one, um, which would be um, either a color or a picture, depending what you want it to be. So this way, um, you know, if any, if there's anything above it that is see-through, um, it'll show you that background site. Okay. Um, on top of that, you have a row. Okay, and then you have what's called columns and this would be a column, and this would be a column. And um, so you have the row long ways, you have the column going up and down. As you take your mouse to things, you can kind of see things highlight. Okay, there it is, there it is, that's what, so you see what you're working with. Um, one thing I can say is I never left click, I always right click, just because even though my mouse is going over like, okay, this isn't that column, but like I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna see, oh, it's a text block. This is not the column, it's a text block in that column but I want to work with the column. So you're going to go here and you're just going to right click that. Okay, now I'm in the column. Um, so once you figure out what you want to do, um, there is, um, you're going to click right click and then it'll show where you're working it with. And the buttons pretty much, um, these buttons right here, let's say you want to move that row down, you just click that. It's a very simple, move it up and it goes where it has to. You're still on this this rectangle, so you, know, you don't have to um, you know, get out of it, you just up or down it. And then you have edit design under that. That's um, you know it's what it says. You're going to edit this design. Add. Let's say you want to add a row above or below it. So you want to you know something to go above or below this um, section is like a whole section. Um, so there's like um, all these other ones which we'll go over, um, and they're pretty much like um, you know if you want a already built like uh, text you know, area or already built like menu, if there's a menu. And, and like I said, we will go over that. Um, there, it's over here. Um, so we'll go through that later. Padding, um, as you kind of highlight over the padding, you see the blue that is in this line. Um, you can't really see it if I don't, but um, it pretty much is like um, space to the top, bottom, left, and right. Okay. So it's exactly what it sounds. Entrance animation. Um, once you get this started, um, you can either fade it in, you can fade it from the right, from the left, bounce. Um, when we were going through it earlier, I said, you know, oh, that's pretty cool how it's moving, and that's pretty much what that's for. Um, you know, so certain parts can 
you know, bounce in and out. Um, then you have hide on device. Um, if there is something that you want to show on the desktop, but people who have a phone, you don't want it to show because sometimes things that show up on the desktop don't really look as the same as on the phone. You don't want to delete it because then you're going to be going back and forth, like where did this piece go? And you know, it's going to, it's going to be, it's not going to be there anymore. So um, if you hit a hide on whichever one you don't like it on, that'll keep it on the ones that you do like it on. Okay. So um, to get started, you have up here, you have your home, um, you have this drop down box, it'll show your home, gallery, contact us, it shows you what page you're going to be working with. Um, right now we're going to stick with home, but if you want to go back and forth, that's what you'll click. And then to see the different views, um, there's the tablet, there's the phone. So you can see this is where you would see um, if you wanted to hide something, you would know which one to hide. Um, then you have over here, this check mark just pretty much says it's just the save as the um, changes received, okay? Because um, you're never going to publish it until you're ready to actually get it up and going. So that just shows you, hey, this is what's saved. When you come back in, this is where it's going to start off at. We have an undo button. So um, if you do not like what was done, you can always undo it. And the preview button shows you what you have so far. Then you have design over here on the left. So these buttons over here, um, global text, global buttons, global image, global rows, um, those are all really good once you get going and you know for sure you're going to keep it. Um, that means anytime that you text, this is what it's going to look like. Anytime you um, have a button, this is what it's going to look like and so forth. Um, so it's pretty much the same throughout each page. Um, right now it's on this template one so you know you can kind of see what it has now and so forth. Um, okay, then site background this is what I was saying before where you make um, the layering. So right now the background is this like color right here, this blackish gray color. Um, and you know, if you wanted it to be an image, you would just click on image and put it there. And the only time you're going to see that is if there's um, a row that's on top of it that is see-through. So if I go here to edit design, and I go here to background color, and I make that blank. Oops, I have to delete that first, which I don't really want to do because um, it is really nice. So um, let me just try a different one real quick because I don't really want to do that one. Here we go. Let's do this one. So if I go here to row, I right clicked it. I'm on the row. I go to edit design. Now I know here that, hey, there's an there's no image. Okay. The background color is white. Well, that's what that is. That's white. So we're going to go ahead and click here and then we're going to hit that. Okay. And now as you can see, it's like, wait a minute, there's still other stuff going on. What's going on here? Um, so this is where you're going to want to go to that. Now, if it's still showing, you don't know where it is, you're going to want to go to each one, right click, and then you can kind of see where each one is. So you can get it just a bit. And actually that is the site background image, so that's fine. Um, so that's what that background image looks like. But you know what? I don't really like that background image. So I'm going to go back to edit design and I don't want to see that background image color. Boom. And I'm going to bring it back to the white color. Okay. Um, so then we have pages, which will show you all the pages. Um, you can do the pop-ups there. Widgets, um, let's say you want to put something in one of these rows. There's all these different options. Buttons, photo gallery, click to call, oh my goodness. Now, even you can even do an HTML code if you want to. Like if there is something that you don't like how we put it up, like um, one of these um, widgets, you can always put an HTML code for it. Um, I think YouTube or uh, Spot uh, Shop Spotify is the best ones. Um, sometimes you want to go and, and want it to look a different way. You go to HTML, drag it over, and then add that. Um, you can even add your Facebook feed. You, I mean, there's just so many different options. It's like to go through all these would be insane. Um, so we will do that maybe in another video. Then you have content. Okay, these will go through in another video. And then that's pretty much it. If you want to do the blog, there is a blog option, and then you can add on widgets for that. So um, I hope that helped everybody. Um, I tried to do it as good as I can for 15 minutes, and um, I might have ran out of time, but I will try to put some more up there um, you know, for you. I know that I'm going to try to do a control panel walkthrough for all the new customers, and then maybe a... Um, another one to just kind of go over all this. So if there is any suggestions, feel free to leave it in the comment box below. And um, thank you for watching. Good luck.